On Friday, March 16th, 2018, a few friends and I went out to eat at this place called Kamonegi. Now, Kamonegi's claims to fame are their soba and tempura. They opened here in the Fremont neighborhood of Seattle last year with a ton of hype. Inside of their tiny kitchen is where Chef Mutsuko Soma does her thing. Their bar program has a great selection of sakes and cocktails, definitely inspired by the fact that Chef Soma is also a level three sake sommelier. I was accompanied to this meal with my friends Hubert, Justin Oba, who I don't think has been in an episode yet, and my girlfriend Anna. Drink. Oba went with a sake from Washington, Anna got a glass of rosé, Hubert with the Satsuma soda, and I got a Sapporo because Japanese food. To start, an amuse-bouche of carrot soup with dashi. It was light, kind of funky, but really, really clean and delicious. Inside of this first bowl, yellowfin zuke, yuzu miso vinaigrette, wilted shungiku, really beautiful fish, bright and acidic, but really had those vegetal flavors to go along with it. Next up, tempura eggplant, served in a broth of chanterelle mushrooms, purple daikon, and mitsuba. If this did not have the bonito flakes in it, this could have been the best vegan dish I have ever had. There was just so much umami. The texture of the eggplant was just right. I was a big fan of this one. Next up, a chawan mushi with matsutake, fish cake, and shrimp. The execution of this was just so on point. Steaming a custard this large and having it cooked perfectly is really a difficult task. I really enjoyed the flavors here. We also got the yakitori duck sakune with a soft egg. I wish there was more char flavor on the yakitori balls. It was tasty though. The logo of this place was a duck, so we tried to order as much duck stuff as possible. It is soba time. We all agreed to get different kinds so we could taste multiple versions. These varied from Japanese curry to buttered black trumpet mushroom to the kabonegi, which is duck and leek. I personally went with the buttered scallop soba. You do have the option of having the soba noodles served on the side cold or hot in the broth. In my personal opinion, having it on the side is the way to go. You dip them in the broth like so. The texture stays predictably chewy. Anna was the only one who put her noodles in the broth and they were definitely soggy by the time that she finished. A cool move that I've never seen before is they take this starchy water that they cook the noodles in and come by with a pot where you can pour hot broth into your room temperature dipping bowl. That dilutes the intense flavor and you can sip it after you finish all of your noodles. It was a really nice touch. I'm always excited when it becomes dessert time. We ordered the tempura Oreos. Those almost turn into tiny creamy chocolate cakes when you fry them. Super tasty. And then there was this cheesecake with yuzu and grape. It wasn't like a Japanese cheesecake it was more like a whipped panna cotta but I still really enjoyed both of the desserts a lot. Total for the food and drinks came to $197.63 we tipped an extra $40 on top of that and uh, remember that Oreo plate the order comes with three Oreos but Justin Oba agreed to sing to the kitchen for a plate of four Oreos and uh, he actually went through with it. Overall, I was a big fan of this meal. There's something about a place that has their thing and they do it really, really well. And there's something to be respected about that. So I definitely enjoyed Kamenegi. I will be back. I'm absolutely a huge fan of Japanese food. And with it being this tasty, it definitely saves me a trip overseas. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below where you'd like to see me go out to eat next. My name's Justin Kana. Have a good one.